going on people hope y'all doing incredible because i know i am um what is your why why do you want to get into trucking why do you want to where do you see yourself from in a couple years from now uh with this trucking thing and what i mean by that is are you just in it for the money I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that people tell you, oh, I just, it's just, I just, I just, I just do it because I love it. You in it for the money, dog. <laughs> just like I'm in it for the money. But how are you going to spend your money? What, what, money is a tool. So what, what is you, what are you going to use your tool for? Okay. Is it the big house? The mansion, the boat. Uh, the big, the, the big ride with the the big rims, the gold teeth, the big chain, the Rolex, the Jordans. I mean, I can go on and on, and, and I'm not picking on nobody. I'm just, you know, I mean, we see the stuff all day long. I used to. That stuff used to motivate me, not so much the the. Uh, uh, the chains and the teeth and the sneakers. I was never into fashion like that. Uh, but the big ride and the, not so much the, the big rims, but, you know, nice, fancy luxury car, big house. Um, I wanted a, one of them big 50-foot, uh, 60-foot boats. Um, you know, the cigarette boat with the twin engines, you know, cruising down the coast of Miami, something like that. Uh, that's what I wanted. When I was younger... And then I was like, as I started learning different things and seeing different things and seeing the uh, the propaganda that is put before before us, you know, just in, through TV and media and stuff like that, then I started thinking, you know, like, for what? I mean, what what's your purpose in life? Is your purpose in life just to do that, or is there is there another purpose in life? Right. So then, you know, doing some more research and just thinking and pondering and stuff. And then uh, then I was like, as I started getting older, I was like, nah, nah I don't want to I don't want to deal with that type of stuff. Uh, not, not, I'm not, and I'm not saying that uh, you shouldn't want to acquire nice things. That's not what I'm saying. But, you know, where's the limit? So then I started thinking, you know, man, it would be nice to just live in a small house, have some couple acres or a couple hundred acres, whatever, you know, with some livestock, some chicken, you know, fresh eggs every morning and some, some goats running around, maybe some cattle, hot cattle is a lot of work. Uh, I talked to a dairy, dairy farmer here that, you know, lives not too far from me where I get my uh, raw milk from. Got some in the back right now, actually. I got to get it out of the sun. But just a simple lifestyle, man. I mean, and what about your, if you have children or plan to have children, what about them? I mean, cause it's not, it's, it's getting harder to live out here with the, the prices of just goods and services going up, uh, with the commodities going up and your pay is staying the same or it's going down. So, and I look at that and I'm saying, well, you know, I'm, I got to set this stuff up for, you know, my children or people within or a certain group of people. Right. So, you know, I, and cause I'm not going to enjoy this stuff, you know, you no, know, you bust your behind for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, whatever. Um, but when I'm 60, do I want to be driving a truck? I mean, and let's face it, the way that the rates are, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, the rates are probably still going to be freaking $1.50 a mile. <laughs> I mean, but the, everything else is going to be skyrocketing. So, like, what are you doing? Um, and this isn't to get on anybody, and, and I'm just I'm just speaking about what goes on through my mind. 
and why I'm so passionate about, you know, certain things, uh, because I know we don't have a lot of time. Um, even within this trucking, we don't have a lot of, for the single truck owner operators and, you know, you got a small fleet, we don't have a lot of time because the government, they're cracking down on everything. I mean, they, you can't move the truck, you know, without some kind of penalty or some kind of, uh, regulation or something like that and the big companies oh they're loving it they're eating it up because they can afford to they they operate by volume they don't operate you know by single loads going from here and there trying to get the most bang out of the buck um so it's just kind of uh kind of that, that's the thoughts that's going through my mind and I want to break the cycle too. And I'm breaking the cycle. So what do you mean by breaking the cycle? I'll just go ahead and be real. You know, black folks, mo I say a lot of black folks, they're more concerned about looking good than creating wealth. And I'm not saying looking good is not important, but why not go out and start a business? Trucking. I mean, trucking is a great industry. Um, you just got to wiggle yourself around and go with the flow. And, you know, um, you can, you don't need an education, a college education. You get in the trucking right out of high school make six figures, will grow six figures. There's not a lot of industries where you can do that. But what do you do with the money? I mean, that's what it all comes down to. You going out to the latest Drake concert? Drake, Rihanna, uh, I don't even know who, I don't follow that stuff no more. Uh, I listen to old school, so <laughs> uh, I couldn't even tell you who the latest artists are. Um, But I mean, is that is that what you want? Is that is that the, why you want to you know? Is that why you want to make your money to do those things? I mean, if that's what you want to do, I mean, that's fine. But I, me personally, I have a greater purpose in life. I believe, and and that's to set it up for the. I'll just say the generation coming behind me, to where you know I can set it up. I can document you know certain things. That's how you do it. Um, and then hand it off to them to where they're already set up. You know, one truck, two trucks, three trucks, small fleet, freight brokerage, uh, so on and so forth. So, and I want to say this. It would be so nice if we could stick together, you know, black folks because the Amish stick together the Mennonites stick together the Russians the Indians it seems like these countries that are even though the Amish and the, the Mennonite they're you know here I guess they're from what Germany or something I don't know uh, they stick together but who don't stick together black folks people like you and me we don't stick together and, but I'm trying to break that cycle, you know, and I, I, other people are too. The other people are too, but that's all. Uh, I don't know. I guess that was a rant, just, a, just ramblings of, you know, what's going on through my head. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.